sister in the mirror What's up everybody? Um, this is my second commentary of course and um they really don't waste really want to waste any time with this one because you know I think it's this is a decent you know thing to talk about that I find really interesting that I think a lot of people and a lot of fans nowadays get really confused. And um so I'm here to hopefully try to shed some light on this subject for the ones who really don't understand how things work. That's number one, or number two, for the people who just flat out have their heads up their asses. And, uh, okay, so here we go. I want to talk about what it truly means to be a worker in the, in the wrestling business. You know, what, it, what, it, what the differences are between being, you know, why, you know, being a good wrestler does not mean you're a good worker in the wrestling business. Okay, um, a lot of people say that you know, for example, John Cena, he can't wrestle. He only does five moves. He, you know, is not a good worker. Um, guys, here's the thing. John Cena, he may not be a good wrestler, but he is an awesome worker. I mean, doesn't he get a reaction out of all of you each time he comes out? Doesn't he sell merchandise? Isn't he, doesn't he draw the money? Which, you know, this is what I'm going to go into. You know, I'm not going to talk too much about John Cena right now. I can talk about that anytime. But let me explain to you guys what a worker is. A worker is not somebody who can wrestle. A worker is not somebody who can do a bunch of amount of moves. A bunch of amounts of moves. Or two. You, can be, you can do 200 moves. You can do 500 moves. You can do 68,000 moves. But that doesn't mean that you're a good worker. Okay, so now, a worker, a worker is somebody who can put asses in the seats. A worker is somebody who can draw money, who can get reactions, who can sell merchandise, who can sell tickets. Somebody who can get you to cheer him or boo him. Somebody who can get you eaten out of the palm of his hand with only the snap of his fingers. A worker is somebody who can, you know, draw the crowds somebody who can you know make them pander to whatever he's doing he or he or she is doing in the wrestling ring all right some examples of some good workers listen here's here's a here's another example besides john cena hulk hogan even as big of an asshole as he is nowadays he can still put asses in the seats, all right? Back in the day, he was he was the biggest draw that the wrestling business had. He could work like no other. He I mean, he may not have been the greatest wrestler in the world, but he sure as hell could put asses in the seats. He could get reactions out of people. He could make you pay your hard-earned money to see him. Okay, what else? Another thing. I mean, being being a good wrestler does not mean that you can put asses in the seats. I mean, if you can wrestle, I mean, in the wrestling business, if you're somebody that can wrestle, if if you're somebody that you know has a wrestling background like Bret Hart or Eddie Guerrero or any one any people any one of those people that are like them, then that's that's a plus, okay? But to be a worker means that you can put asses in the seats. You can sell merchandise, you can sell tickets, you can make those people love you or hate you. That's what a worker is. Now I'm going to go back to John Cena. John Cena, he may not be the best wrestler in the world, okay? Not once have I ever said that John Cena is the greatest wrestler in the world. I never once ever said that, okay? So don't, so before you guys start shitting on yourselves, I'm not giving John Cena an overly exaggerated amount of credit, okay? Even though I love him and I respect the hell out of him and I will continue to respect the hell out of him until the day I die. I never once said that he was the greatest wrestler ever. But he is a great worker. Okay? I mean, when you guys go to WWE shows, don't you guys at some point, and I know there, I know a lot of you are listening to this, don't you guys pay to see him or pay to see him and tell him that he sucks? Am I wrong? Okay then. 
every single person that loves Cena or doesn't like him, every single person that loves him or hates him is in their seat reacting to him or making some sort of loud noise when he comes out to the ring. John Cena is a sell. He sells merchandise. He sells tickets. He draws the fans. He draws the little kids. He he is a he is the biggest draw that the wrestling business has had since Hulk Hogan. Okay, now I know some of you are going to disagree with me. Okay, but this is this is this is not an opinion. This is all true shit. Okay, this is all true stuff. Get over it. All right. Now, whether you love Cena or whether you don't like him, you are still reacting to him. You are still talking about him. You still show up to a show to tell him, to cheer him, or you still show up to the to to a show. Excuse me. You still show up to the show to see him and tell him that he sucks. So the only thing that will mean something is if all of you guys, you know, basically shut the fuck up when he came out to the ring or even, you know, went up and t went to the bathroom when he came out, okay? John Cena is a good example of a worker. John Cena is not the best wrestler in the world. He isn't. But he is a good worker. Stone Cold, he was a good worker. He sold merchandise. He sold the tickets. He got people to draw into the to the to the crowds. He got people to he got he made people want to come see the show that he was performing on. Stone Cold helped put the wrestling business and the WWE on the map. He was he worked he he got reactions like no other. And I came to play. There's a price to pay. Time for you to get down on your knees. I came to play. Is to the letter